Has anyone ever told you that you should not eat carbohydrates at night because they will turn into fat? Or that you should eat most of your carbohydrates in the morning so that you have the day to burn them off? But just like the stories in Greek mythology, as much as I love those myths, both these statements are simply not true and do not reflect how the body works. The first thing to clear up before we start this video is that you will only store fat if your calories in exceeds your calories out. Hi, for those of you who are new here, welcome. My name is Matty. I'm a male model, physiotherapist and fitness enthusiast. And my channel is all about documenting self-improvement, sharing things that have helped me and that will hopefully help you too. Now, in this video, I will be giving you five reasons why you should be eating carbohydrates at night. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. The first reason is that it's a better use of willpower. Willpower is like a battery, and like any battery, it is limited. It can run flat over the course of a day. And honestly, eating healthy and being mindful of portion sizes requires willpower anyway. The reality is that for most of us, willpower peaks in the morning, but we could use more flexibility for our eating habits later in the day. The timing of consumption of your macronutrients can work synergistically with your willpower battery during the day. Let me explain. Higher carbohydrate foods tend to stimulate appetite, whereas higher protein leads to a lower calorie intake due to it being more satiating. Have you ever tried eating 200 grams of steak versus 200 grams of rice? Which one fills you up more? Plan daytime meals around protein, including healthier fats, fiber, salad, vegetables in order to keep the blood sugar stable and to minimize feelings of hunger. Essentially what you're doing is almost a ketogenic diet during the day. Saving foods that are high in carbohydrates later on in the day for dinner mean that you don't have to fight up carb cravings when your willpower battery is basically empty. The second reason is greater relaxation and better mood. Studies have found that food directly impacts your brain neurotransmitter systems, which affects mood. Serotonin, known as the feel-good neurotransmitter, works to provide a sense of calm and improved mood. Elevated levels of serotonin at night help to promote restful sleep. Is it therefore a coincidence that eating carbohydrates is necessary to produce serotonin? You have tryptophan, which is an amino acid and a precursor to serotonin. This is not taken up for conversion when other amino acids from a high protein diet are present. However, when carbohydrates are consumed, it triggers the release of the hormone insulin, which reduces amino acid levels in the blood so that tryptophan can easily cross the blood-brain barrier for conversion to serotonin. Research has found that meal timing and meal composition influences mood. It is also affected by your individual dietary and genetic situation. For example, women and men may respond somewhat differently to various foods. Elevated levels of serotonin during the day or in the morning can make people feel more sluggish more sleepy, calm, and even lethargic. Combine these effects with how higher carbohydrate foods can influence insulin and blood sugar levels. Is it any reason why many people find themselves unmotivated, sluggish, or foggy after a carbohydrate dense meal? Reason number three is improved sleep. Having carbohydrates at night can actually help you to sleep. Carbohydrates lower cortisol. This is the stress hormone that can inhibit sleep when levels are elevated at night. Carbohydrates can also upregulate serotonin, as we already talked about. Your body follows a circadian rhythm by which hormone levels change throughout the course of a day. Cortisol is one of these hormones that makes you feel alert and awake in the morning when these levels are elevated in order to help you get out of bed. These levels of cortisol should therefore drop later on in the day, reaching low levels around bedtime to allow for restful sleep. But if you train or if you work late, or if you deal with life stress later on in the day, cortisol can flood your system, keeping you alert, anxious, and awake. Eating carbohydrates triggers a prolonged release of insulin, which is an antagonist to cortisol, therefore can help promote sleep. High cortisol levels are the reason why many people crave high carb comfort foods, because their body is looking for a way to combat against the physiological stress response and lower cortisol. So which carbs should you eat at night? Of course, whole food, complex carbohydrates, starchy vegetables such as fruit, beans, and boiled grains are a good choice that will provide high quality nutrition. The best results come from generally staying away from highly processed, refined carbohydrates and sugars. 
But in all honesty, a big bowl of pasta, rice or noodles, or even a pizza, always helped me get a good night's sleep two to three hours before I go to bed. The fourth reason is greater metabolic flexibility. Our bodies work most optimally when they are metabolically flexible. That is the ability to readily switch between burning fats and carbs. Metabolic flexibility allows you to avoid those low energy levels if you haven't just eaten, which is why it is the ideal state. For example, our ancestors would burn fat most of the day as they would be in a fasted state. And then after hunting and gathering food in the evening, they would eat, feast and relax and shift into an energy storage phase. The typical high carb Western diet of breakfast, lunch and dinner results in repeatedly raising your blood glucose levels and therefore spiking insulin. This is all to give you the energy that you need to make it through the day. And because of this, most people develop insulin resistance from such a metabolic environment and their bodies lose the ability to readily burn fat. This can lead to lifestyle diseases such as diabetes type 2 and obesity. Having a breakfast that is lower in carbohydrates and higher in proteins and fats and then eating more carbohydrates later in the day is the solution to the problem. It means that your body will maintain or even restore its metabolic flexibility by burning mostly fat during the day. You will improve your insulin sensitivity to the point that when you do eat carbohydrates, they will be burned for energy or will be stored in muscle or liver glycogen instead of being stored as fat. Reason number five we have briefly covered already, but you will have more energy in the morning. Back in the 1960s, scientists were investigating the effect of foods on energy levels. This led to research showing that when women ate meals that were higher in carbohydrates during the morning, they felt sluggish and sleepy. Additionally, when older subjects over the age of 40 ate carbohydrate dense meals for breakfast and then for lunch, their cognition was impaired compared to when they ate a meal higher in protein. When older subjects ate more protein for breakfast, they experienced improved cognition, but also increased levels of anxiety and tension. Scientists believe that this is the case because neurons in the brain change as we age, making them more sensitive to some of the amino acids present in protein rich foods, such as tyrosine. Tyrosine is used to synthesize energizing catecholamine neurotransmitters, such as norepinephrine and dopamine. The takeaway is that many people will feel that they have improved cognition and higher energy levels by favoring protein rich foods in the morning and carbohydrate rich foods in the evening. The nighttime carbohydrates appear to be key. People on low carb or ketogenic diets often report that they do have trouble sleeping at night and may also find themselves with chronically depleted glycogen stores if they exercise regularly. During activity, your muscles run on glycogen, which are carbohydrates stored within the muscle. Having carbohydrates following a workout and in the evening will be more effective for replenishing those glycogen stores. And since replenishing these glycogen stores can take time, the most important meal that's going to set you up for a workout, especially one that's in the earlier parts of the day, is going to be the one that you had the night before. Now, I hope that you found this video useful. I've just given you five great reasons why you should consume carbohydrates at night. Isn't that what you've always wanted to hear? I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found.